Hi everyone, this is Sunny from Database Tech. So today I had come up with one more new session on SQL queries and interview questions. In today's session, I will explain how we can find second highest salary from a table. So let's understand this in SQL Server practically. This is SQL Server. And now before we start, we need some data. For that, we have a table named customer in which we have columns like ID, name, father's name, address, gender, salary. And from this salary column, we have to fetch second highest salary, which is our requirement. And this is the most commonly asked question by the interviewer if you are going for the SQL database entry. So now let's do this. One more thing to update here, this requirement we can achieve using several ways. Either we can use CTE, which is common table expression, or we can use subquery, which means query inside query. So let's first understand this with CTE, then I will show you how we can achieve the same requirement using subquery. Let's create CTE. So what is the syntax to create CT? It's very simple. You have to write down with CT name as bracket start and bracket close. So this is the way we can create CT. I had given the name as CT name, but you can give any meaningful name here. You can change this name. So let's kept this as CT name so that you can understand this is CT. Now what is next? So let's move to our requirement. What we have to do, we have to fetch second highest salary from this customer table. And we are doing this with CT. So it's very important to understand first what is CTE. Then only we can understand the requirement. Then only we can achieve this requirement using CT. So let's understand first what is CT. CT is common table expression. It is a temporary named result set that you can refer within a select insert update or delete statement that immediately follows the CT. Now, what does that mean? Let us understand this practically in SQL Server. Okay, so this is SQL Server. Now we had created the outer structure of the city. Now let's write some query. Select ID name salary from customer. Okay, so what we are doing here, we are fetching data from customer table. And data is we are fetching three columns from this customer table. Let's execute this query. So we have the given below output from this query. And this query we had used in this city name. Now what will happen here, this city name will hold the will hold the output of this query. This hold the output on temporary basis. This output will not get stored in the database the way tables get stored. It holds the data on temporary basis. Now, with this output, you can do the manipulations, you can do the modification, you can filter the data accordingly, which again depends upon the requirement. Now, how we can use this CT? If we try to execute this here, it will not work. You can see we get the error. Why? Because we have already seen in the definition you have to refer the CTE within select, insert, update, or delete statement. So let's do this. Now how we can use the CTE, we have to refer that. So how we can do that? By using select, insert, update, or delete statement. Here I will show you with select statement. Select ID from CTE name. So what we are doing, if you notice one thing here, the CT name is not a table. It is 
the CTE that we have created here and we are fetching this ID from the CTE name because the CTE name is holding the output from this query in which we have ID. Right now we are fetching only ID from the CTE name but you can fetch like name, you can fetch salary, you can do any modification, you can filter this output whatever the requirement you have you can do the chains accordingly. Now let's first execute this. Okay, so we get the ID from the CT name. Now it's working. And one thing you notice here is we are executing both queries together. Then only it will work. When we executed this without referring the CT name, it's not working. And either if you execute this CT name, it will not work because this doesn't know what is the CT name. So it's very mandatory to execute them together. And we can use any statement like select statement, insert, update or delete statement. We can refer the CT. Now what has CT done? It holds the output of this query that we have written here. Now if you, you can do further modifications with this query light you can use select ID from CT name where salary equal to 1000. Now when you again execute this you get the output like this which means we can do the modifications. You can also fetch everything from the CT name. Okay. And one more thing, as I said earlier, we can change this name. Now let's make it test. Then here also you have to change it. So you will get the same output. Okay. So this is CT, which holds the output. And if you have to use the CT, you have to refer that. And you have to refer that in immediately after the CT which is also very important. When you are creating CT you have to refer that immediately after creation of CT which we have done here. Okay, We are immediately referring that. Now let's come to our requirement. So what was our requirement? We have to fetch second highest salary from this customer table. Now what's next, we will use here rank function. To achieve this requirement, we have to use rank function. Now what is rank function? When you are implementing rank function, when you are using rank function, you have to keep some things in mind like it always works with our clause. When you are implementing rank function, it's mandatory to use our clause because our clause do the partition. Okay. The second point which you have to keep in mind is it assigns a rank to each row based on the order by clause. It assigns rank to each row. Okay. Based on the order by clause. It assigns a rank to each row in a consecutive order. Don't worry. This is just the definition. I will show you all these three points practically. Okay. So let's go to the SQL server again. From the first point we have seen if you are using rank function, we have to use our clause. So that we will use here, which will help to for the partitioning. And then we have to use order, order by, order by salary descending. We can do the order by either by ascending order or by the descending order. But here, as per our requirement, we have to do the order by in descending order because we need the max salary first and then the remaining. What's next as ranking from customer, which is a table name, and this is the alias name as ranking. We can give any name here to the column header. So this is one 
column and this is the header of that okay now when we execute this i will show you what ranking has done so you can see here it has first ordered this table okay in descending order you can see we get the 4000 which is the highest salary which comes first and then the remaining salaries and it has also assigns rank to each row in a consecutive order that we have seen in the definition it assigns the rank to each row in a consecutive order you can see the rank is assigned in consecutive order like one two three four it first order the table and then assigns rank so our ct is completed now what's next as we have done earlier when we are creating ct we have to refer that if we execute this now it will not work so it's very mandatory to refer that immediately after creation of ct now we will refer this select star from test where ranking equal to 2 so what we need we need the second highest salary so what is the second highest salary here it is 3000 so we should get 3000 so you can see we get the expected salary which is 3000 so our requirement is completed we get what we expect but in case the interviewer asks is okay i don't need a second highest i need the third highest then what will you do you just have to change it to three when you change it to three you get the third highest salary which is two thousand and similarly if you need the four highest you can change accordingly okay because what it has done it has assigned the rank to each row and with that help with that ranking function we can get the salaries as per our requirement okay the third highest the second highest the fourth highest so this was our requirement which we have done using cte okay and now what's next we have to achieve the same using sub query so let's go to that what is sub query a query inside query select so we use here top select top one salary from what top does it gives us the first row from top when we use let me show you when we use select top one salary from customer what we get we get the single salary from the top okay so we get the only if we use top two so we get top two rows here we are fetching the single column so we are getting single column if you need everything all the day all the columns you can get that using star but here we need the salary only so we will use salary column only okay so what's next so we have to use here inner query we need the second highest so we will use select top to salary from customer again we will do order by salary descending okay and what's next test order by salary asc ascending so what we have done here first when you are using sub query which query will execute first this is called the outer query this part is outer query and this part is inner query when you are using sub query the inner query executes first so let's see the output from this first so we are getting some error incorrect syntax near so let's check this okay we have not executed everything so we get 4000 first and 3000 second because we are selecting two rows which means two salaries from the customer 
and we have ordered that descending the same way we have done in the CT. The same thing we have achieved here. We get top two salaries and then what we need, we need a second highest which is the second row. How we can get that? We have to again do the order by. We need here the first only one row we need which is second highest. So we had used here only one. Select top one from this output. So here we have this output. So here let's again we have done the same mistake. We are not executing everything. So let's execute this again. So you can see we get this output. Now what we need, we need only one salary, which is the salary at row number two. So here we are using top one because we need one salary from this output. It will give us this salary. It will give a 4000. It will when we use if we don't use the salary salary by if we don't use the order then it will give us 4000. So which is not our requirement. What we need the second highest because it's giving us the first row. When we use the top by it's giving us the first row because we are fetching top one salary okay when we are executing but we need the second for that we are using order order by salary ascending so it will give the minimal minimum salary first and then the max salary after so what we need here is 3000 first and then 4000 so that's why we are using here order by salary ascending which will change the order in ascending so we get what we are expected and now if we have to get the third highest so what we have to do we have to change here in this inside query which is here query inside query okay inner query we have to change two to three so we get top three salaries and then we will do the ascending order and we get the 2000 which is a third highest salary similarly you can change here in the inner query you have to change what you required okay so that was it for today's session i hope you have understood how we can fetch the second highest salary using cte and sub query in case not you can provide your comments you can or you can share your feedback and if you liked today's session you can please subscribe my channel so that i can post more sessions on same with this let, let, let us wrap up the session we'll come up with the next session shortly till then have a nice day bye bye take care be healthy be good